Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, this will be hopefully a very clean mission. It's a horde sit rep. We've got some pretty strong people out here. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, this should be, this should be clean. Uh, there's a really good reward soldier out there. And, uh, we also have an elite paladin cyburster joining us. So, uh, maybe, maybe a speed run episode. We'll see. Uh, today's trivia question. Prior to this season, which Marine has dealt the most damage? Proficiency Marine, War of the Chosen Season 5 and 6. A, Isabel Izzy Spongler. B, Ando the Wind Mikor. C, Hunter Ascend Lockwood. Or D, Shane Blacklight De Silva. I actually got this right. I feel like some people uh, might, but most people will not. And today's log comes from Nick Lean, who writes for Shiblin Guardian Wilcox, or I should say wrote for. This is his death log. He had to face the inevitable truth, he was gonna die. He had followed this road to the end, this is where it led him, dying alongside four other members of XCOM in the ruins of an African city. There was nothing he could do to stop it either. All he could do was face the facts head on. He was okay with that. He looked up into the darkened sky with a look of acceptance in his eyes. His mouth barely moved to let out the soft, audible sound that would be his dying words. I have no regrets. I just wish... Tears started to fill his eyes as he fought the darkness of death from overcoming him. His fingers gripped the ground as he bore the pain of his plasma wounds. It was becoming too much to bear. I could have seen the end. With all those words, Shiblin closed his eyes for what would be the last time. The tears from his eyes silently dropped to the blood-stained ground beneath. His grip on the soil loosened as his muscles lost all strength. This was it. He could feel himself letting go. The black sheep was finally going to go home. To a place where he was summoned, or surrounded, by those who passed on before him. To a place where he wasn't alone. To a place where he belonged. God. I wish I could write half as good as you guys. It's like we're not even speaking the same language. Very impressive. Okay. Odin. The scout. Vogue says I am to obey. Yes. Let's see if we can get Odin to uh, major. Also, can we get out of the forest? Like, this is intensely difficult to that see through. Going. All right. Uh, we're gonna be. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be relying on these markers. Nice little helmet icon there. Okay, this is fine. And actually, <laughs> I just realized cover doesn't even matter. At all. Give her. It's actually cool the way the camera like zooms in through the trees. Oh, nice job. Okay, so I got Absolutely one. crushing. I'm running low on ammo. And I guess we'll just is it clear? blue move and we can overwatch this first round. Maybe a, I was just going to say, maybe a Howler. They tend to kind of be on their own a lot. Oh, she's landing from... Okay. Okay. Undercover sniper. If these guys don't kill this Howler, I'll be shocked. What? I guess the weird camera angles. I'm gonna continue I to send Odin. Ready to rock. Then, then must... Lunchbox. Oh, you can't see it? We'll see if we can get this with anyone that is going to stay with us permanently. Endless. This is probably so hard to, to watch. Hunter of Lost, yeah. Totally remembered that. I just want to get out of the trees, man. 
Okay, we got two bigger groups here. I hope it's worth it. Scan a good beat. This is like some weird hologram sit rep. I guess we could look through like this. This is kind of interesting. Um, does Odin... He doesn't have visual on everyone. I am at your service. I'm going to keep him there to see if we can maybe uh, reveal or pull these groups. I'm going. Doesn't look like that's happening. Bin gleich da. Okay, so let's get everyone close in together here. Tempo. Ten four. As you order, Commander. Okay. Right, come get them. And then we'll just move this group as like as a six, I suppose. Is it clear? And we can just roast them. Time to burn. Target eliminated. Virtual needs passion. Yeah, that's gonna pull the other group. I'm trying to avoid taking any shots with that unit. Just to give XP to the, the other people. Oh god, those sight lines. Hideous. Okay, Pool Mother could use a promotion, obviously. I think she's got those Phantom Slayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have been giving them to other people. <laughs> I forgot about it. I didn't even do a, a group overview. I don't know. I feel like this mission is probably going to be over in about three minutes. So it probably doesn't matter. Lunchbox, Cyburster, where's Drac? On we'll refill Drac here. Okay, that guy might reach us. Ah, here we go. Hmm. At an eight, I don't know if we want to reveal just yet. That's fine. Give me a minute. And we'll reload Odin here. I would like to try and get some kills with him, but these kills aren't really worth a lot anyways. Probably get more just from being on the mission. I love how this guy came in with AP rounds. Just crushing. Not that it really matters against these guys, I guess. How many is that now? Okay, let's do... Who's she passing this to? Lunchbox. Drax already filled.
What's worse, fighting in the forest or the Reaper HUD? You tell me. I'll be ready. Oh, she's out. Great. What's over there? Don't blow skids. There's some cool uh, thumbnail opportunities. Nicht gut. Unfortunate with. I hope it's worth it. Rick, the line of sight in here is just an absolute Run nightmare. There you go. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is this. I'm gonna pretty much put these guys all in a line, roughly. As a sort of gauntlet that we're gonna run. Uh, I'll come in here, grab them, and then start leaving on the next turn. Oh, that's unfortunate, but whatever. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. Okay, Red Dawn, this looks like a job for you. Is it clear? We'll do it this way. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Oh, we will. The VIP manning the turret controls, there's nothing keeping the Lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Bring them on. Oh yeah, we've got that blaster bomb attachment. It's the uh, upgraded uh, gauntlet, I believe. Can't hit any of the ones like right in front of me. Killing it with fire. Multiple targets neutralized. Uh, can she reach? What the hell? Fine. Let's give Odin these rounds. I think I'm just gonna fire this off. It's gonna be cool. Oh my god. Okay, good, good. Keep it going. I don't know if he'll get a, uh, if, like yeah, okay, he doesn't get any actions back from that. Okay, it's gear. Uh, Fletcher, run. I guess this is as close as we get. Oof. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Erledigt. Ganz sicher erledigt. Na los, zeigt euch. Feuerschutz. Uh What's our movement here? Red Dawn is 16. Yeah, I think we'll use Red Dawn to pick up. Our guys, like, all of them are killing machines. Especially for these little dudes. 
ganz sicher erwischt. I like how this guy's on Overwatch. Yeah, looks like it. Powered down. He's a robot. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Lucky me. Let's go. What's over there? Let's take these shots from back here first. And then if they can get whatever kills, we can move our front line back. Um, let's come back here. Ambush on. Reloads up. Endlich. Okay. Who's keeping score? Oh, you actually have a visual from here. Beautiful, beautiful. The only paid possible for aliens. Right. Mir entgeht nichts. Gebe Feuerschutz. Now, I believe at the beginning of the season, we in our custom uh, tweaks mod, we had it so that the horde missions wouldn't show up after force level ten. Shouldn't happen. Um, I believe we changed that midway through because these types of missions were always tied with the horde and so the uh, the idea was we needed to get soldiers in some way and so i think that's why we removed it All right. Location confirmed. We'll just full dash a couple here. By a couple, I mean everyone. On it. Roger that. Schon dabei. We actually covered quite a bit of ground here. Like. Look out! Of course. Uh, does Odin have his face off backup? Not yet. You should actually be using his pistol first. Because he's got that first action pistol shot. Get rid of these immediate threats. And I'm using the term threats lightly. Good to go. Red Dawn, you go. Get in 
Uh, let's throw down this. It's a good one to have here, too. It's like the Lost Lure, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oof. Overwatch with the pistol there. Arthur, be gone. We didn't even have any brutes spawn. Pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. I know, but it's so fun. I'm, I'm gonna let him face off here. Red Dawn, see ya. I think next time we play XCOM, I think one of the mods I'd like to use is the ability to, like, not the Fulton Harness mod where you can just send anyone out anywhere, but, for example, in this scenario, I could bring someone back to the evac, and I could send them up by themselves, and I could keep Red Dawn here uh, to keep fighting. Like, it makes a lot... It makes logical sense We've the in my BIT mind that that would be Once we get him a thing. Up, he should be ready to rejoin the fight. Los. Is it clear? Okay. Next turn, I think we leave. Done a little bit of non-efficient farming. Probably staying out here long enough where people are going to have will problems. Okay. Got it covered. I understand. Tempo. Is that everyone? All right. Cyburster, you're with us now, buddy. That'd be sick. If you could, like, recruit the, uh, the extra soldiers that join you. Haven't seen that for a long time. That's sick. Uh, Drac, 17 damage. Not bad. Angerbot, 28. Odin, MVP, 183 damage. No big deal. Cool Mother, 84. Red Dawn, 125. And Lunchbox, 59. Owen, James, Last Ranger McCoy. Welcome to the squad. That's a, what was it, a, a captain? Field medic, I think? The speaker commended loyal I really miss today, starting missions in the, in the actual loadout screen. Because it's just a good reminder of, like, what our goals are for that mission. And what we're fighting for. But for some reason, my saves are all borked. Every time I save on the Geoscape, so fun times, fun times. All right, I mean that's good. A couple people tired, not a big deal. 
No promotions, unfortunately. Captain James McCoy countered Major Breakthrough. I think this is part one of Major Breakthrough. Fear of Stun Lancers and Overseer. Hey? James McCoy. What is Overseer? Not showing us here. Uh, works best overseeing others. Entering Overwatch automatically when any teammates take an Overwatch shot. Oh, neat. Okay. Uh, how do we want to play this? We definitely want Trauma Kit. Fleet Footed for Shadow Step. We're probably not going to be carrying Arc Throwers as much once we, because we're getting into um, side grading. So I think we'll take Sentinel there and low profile. Probably want emergency aid long term, but anyways. James McCoy. Oh, I like the weekly logs. 1050. My son has left the home. My son breathes, but is dead. I saw him sneak into the woods midday with Jules' rifle. Grief forced tears from my face as the familiar emotion washed over me. He was not ready. He needed a few more years of training to be able to combat those things with any sort of hope for survival. I will mourn for him as I do with her. The McCoy family is dead and it is time I prepare. Weekly Log 1053. I pulled some strings with XCOM. With a trade of food rations, I was able to get the body back home. The wounds show he went down swinging and surrounded. Good. At least he had good death. I was told his call sign was Cowboy. The kid is ready. Jules' old armor and her gun the boy stole, rechambered in the largest caliber I could find. Given to me in a bygone age of honor and remembrance, they scream memories of pain. Of those who no longer wield them, I have to remind myself that they did well. They both fought to the death. I can no longer be alone. Weekly Log, 1056. Jules, all that I learned, I've learned from you. I knew I had lost you the day you joined XCOM all those years ago, the same way I knew I'd lost James when he joined the same group. When I learned of your death, I only wished for revenge. However, I was a coward. I hid in the sea of background noise as a resistance leader, trainer of the next generation, I called myself. I pushed the fight to our boy. I will pay for this in the blood of our enemy and my own. I will take as many as I can with me to see our family. I'll take as many hits as it takes to see them bleed at the end of my time and our bloodline. From you, my love, I take your armor and ring so you may see them fall from our bond. My son, my legacy. I should never take anything from you, but your call sign was cowboy. A fitting title for a boy with no future. For you, I will call the wrong as you did with cattle. I will be the final scream of justice from the McCoys beyond the veil. From today on, I will be the last ranger, and I will shed my family's last tears. <laughs> He's out for blood, this guy. Awesome. Cool look. Um, curious. Curious. Can we look at your... Your other armor tiers? Okay, subtle. Uh... Yeah, well, I can't look at the other ones right now. So I have to unequip. Resistance Warrior Kevlar. All right, there you go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Fast mission today. Let's see what the Geoscape brings. We're likely going to see that second Dark Event um, pop. More rookies, eh? Well, I'm maxed out. <laughs> I'm maxed out. Which means now we probably lose another five. Right? That's usually how this goes. Okay. We're going for weapons dealer here. Avenger plotting new course. Remove dark event. Expiring. This is a wild hunt. Doesn't matter. New assault. Recover resistance operative. Is this phase two? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. This is genetic strengthening. 14 enemies. This means probably a ruler, I would have to imagine. Organic exalt units get three more points of HP. Frick. <laughs> so, 
<sighs> Three more points each. So in a batch of five, that's like 15 HP. That's a couple of shots for sure. Man, look at this. Like, this is going to be insane. Space egg from the seventh dimension is there. This mission's going to be absolutely bonkers. Um, yeah. When could I do that? Soon, right? So, we would look at taking Iggy, Dynamite, Musion. Uh... Bumblebee, probably. Or, or Akimov. Probably should bring Toaster. And Clay 6. Right? So, Skirmisher, Marksman, Sapper. Marine, Pioneer. And I need a Field Medic for sure. We could bring Barnaby. Uh, he is not graded yet. Where is he? Uh, hold on. See, she has that... Well, hold on. I don't think he's been graded yet. Okay. Couple promotions there. Azina and Simpson. I think I'm gonna not try and counter that dark event and maybe we can just before it actually kicks in. Hmm. Remove shields. Neutralizing. I think I'm going to take disruption field. Breaking overwatches is really nice. Okay. Uh... Man, the other question, do I, like, do I want to bring, do I want to bring Odin to that mission? Nine days. He's just, he can put out so much damage, that's the thing. And we can scout with him, like, he's really, really capable. But who do we not take then, right? Like, maybe, maybe we take him instead of taking... Uh, dynamite. The other problem, though, is we're, we're, we don't have all our plasma weapons yet. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I got hunter weapons coming soon. Something. So then, then I, I guess in that situation, I probably do lean more towards taking a sniper. Ooh, lightning reflexes could actually be a good one to remove. Doesn't happen all the time. But we, we can start this. We'll start it and see where this goes. Uh, health. Do I want to boost someone? Hail Rider. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. We're gonna let that go. Commander, if we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should okay. get one of their facilities. This is probably part two. Yeah, and I already see Space Egg from the Seventh Dimension. Codex. Sectoid Abductors. Elite Trooper. Archon, Elite Hunter, Chrysalids. Timers reduced.
Okay. And then we have psionic hunting squads. Setting course for Sector 9, Jeez. Western United States. Sectoid abductors. Space egg. Trooper, Archon, Hunter, Crystal. Okay. In the subways. Oh, frick. This is gonna get really scary, I think. Let's think about this. Hold on. So if this dark event does trigger... We could do a facility, right? This isn't looking like... Like, some of these are not looking too bad. That's a little scarier. And we can kind of, like, take our pick of a facility. Plus, we haven't done one for a long time. I don't think we've... I don't know if we've even done one this campaign. See, like, <laughs> some, some of them are pretty scary. Holy smokes. I have to imagine the ones with the lower enemy counts probably have uh, maybe have a maybe have a ruler, which would be fine. So maybe we don't take that risk of a really scary enemy group inside of the sewers. Yeah, maybe we just don't do that. Yeah, we're just not going to do that. Avenger plotting new course. Nobody tells me what to do. That's my new stance. Question is, why'd we do the first one? Yeah, great question. Um, improved reflex actions doesn't matter to me. That's the one where they get a chance to have an extra thing. Uh, allowing their soldiers a greater... Chance to receive an extra action revealed on their turn. I don't know. I don't, I don't even think we've seen that become a problem. Now, this is delaying the dark event for Cypher, where intel costs would be increased. Um, show a force there. Enemy list. Sectopod Hunter, not bad. But again... I, I don't know, like, at this point in the game, is that a big deal for me? I would imagine that that's going to increase our uh, black market cost as well for Intel. But I'm just going to let it go. Oh, this could be worthwhile. But we have to do two big-ass missions for it. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm going to skip it. Grazing shots are automatically upgraded to normal hits. Attacks that would normally graze are upgraded to normal hits. Applies a primary, secondary, and pistols. I'm just trying to be very selective. In what we do, trying to kind of optimize, A, that exalt mission. Which I feel like we need to do sooner rather than later. I think these are changing, aren't they? Yeah, they are. think. Space Egg still there. Andromedan Dreadnought, Sectopod Hunters. These Muton uh, Ballisterius are very scary. It's just, yeah, that's freaking nuts. Plus Exalt, right? So, who are we getting out here? 
Some blue screens, Chasu. I should probably wait for the hunter weapons. Our actions All right. have succeeded. That's good. Best deck got her first promotion. She's the archaeologist, digger. Assault infantry, let's go. Alright, Thorn up. got that promotion. Tired, but that's fine. I think it's it's interesting. This season, um, we were talking about this on Discord a little bit. The, the Templars taking a little bit of a back seat. We did lose one early on, which really sucked, obviously. Um, I think Skyfall we played around with last season. I really liked that. Kind of freezes people. Teleport from the icy void, rending an enemy anywhere on the map, dealing plus 33% damage and freezing. Got 21 soldier AP right now. Arc wave isn't bad. Fortress is probably the safest. Thundering storm. Uh, the range, I believe, is pretty low. Shreds the armor of all enemies within six tile radius. One point of armor, and if you empower, it shreds an additional point. But. I think I'm gonna grab Fortress. Okay. So Trell is actually here as well now. We'd probably take her over Koenig. Just like the aim differential is huge. And she's paired with Odin, which is kind of nice as well for the bond pairing. Uh, so maybe we do try and fit him on that exalt mission. That's the that's the big goal that I'm working towards here. But I I just yeah I don't know it's tough because we'll have the hunter weapons we'll have beam cannons we have K90s. Odin won't have his upgraded weapon but he still deals a ton of damage. There were some casualties during that last Okay, so Gillish is commander. boosted. But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. That's fine. Strategic resource located. That's actually a pretty big haul. That is a pretty big haul. Okay, so I cannot grab the rookies. So that's going to put us over, and we don't... thing is, rookies don't really help us right now. Uh, if we're going to do anything, we take, like, the captains that come in, you know? Uh, why don't I scan for intel here? Supplies, we have plenty. Avenger plotting new course. Force level 18. We still have like some, we still have a lot of big missions to do. It's just we're finding the time because we have to research this stuff. All right, there's the hunter weapon. The results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Okay, dark law, dark lance, and dark claw. This guy, I said we were gonna do him last because we had to console command kill him. Gets the frost axe. I mean, it would be cool, but I don't know. It just feels a bit off to pick that. Um, the psionic weapons would be sick. 
These are very, very powerful. Um, but I do feel like we need to go here to get the plasma lance unlocked. The product of an. Okay. Now, where's Odin? Thirty-seven hours. We are victorious. Soldier Bond. days two colonels I don't know about that mind you it's Mercer and Wong both can be filled by other slots like uh, Schmidt's available and we have other combat engineers that can pretty much do the same thing plus she's tired right now so it actually that actually makes sense this is one of those things that you can do when your people are tired. Gets up to that dual strike, which is nice. Some of our people are a little worse for wear. Okay, a couple cores, some corpses. The cores are really all that matter there. Akimov in three. Okay, awesome. Odin in nine. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Is he back? Yes. Okay. We have everybody available. Is this the time? Andromeda and Dreadnought. Sectopod Hunter. Ballisterius. Spectres. Heavy Mechs. Honor Guards. Fireburster. Chrysalid. Space Egg. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. So we need to buy some blue screens for sure. I almost wonder if we... we uh, bring out our Keeper class here just for efficient ammo usage. So our absolute must-haves as I see it is this. Okay. So there's our absolute must-haves. Then... Probably a sapper. It's, it's between us, the sniper Odin combo or a Sapper and Sniper, I think. Or Odin. Damn, I don't know. Okay, let me pause. I'll, I'll whip up something and I'll come back. One sec. Okay, so this took me a while to be confident about. <laughs> and I'm not... I still haven't reached 100% confidence. However, here's what I've ended up with. I was debating between Odin and uh, Musion. I had Odin in for a while and then I remembered black flame grenades and I was like yeah we should probably use those so Musion it is uh pool mother I've given her the PCS from six I've basically swapped them so her aim is down to 87 but his is up to 97 I think that's going to be more effective on somebody like him uh she's going to be a little bit tankier almost everybody has a vest except for Musion but he's got the rage armor uh, it's tough but 
he does, he needs to carry these acid bombs for uh, concentrated corrosives. He needs to carry the black flames for black flaming. Uh, so that's how that stands. We've given Toaster the superior agility, or the, yeah, superior agility that used to be on Musion. He's now got advanced agility over here. Uh, Reactor 4, I've gone with the psionic atrophy. So basically, let me, uh, let me read it to you. Psionic atrophy increases psi offense by 20 and grants immunity to psionic damage and mental effects. Damage taken from all other sources increased by 33%. So, the way I understand this is, in addition to the 85 Psy offense, he's getting the 20 bonus. Plus, he is immune to psionic damage and mental effects, but we have to make sure he doesn't get shot by anything else. You're going to take increased damage from that. But if we play him in the right position, hopefully that's okay. This puts his Psy up to 102 and 20, which seems very strong because... I want to be mind controlling stuff. I feel like that's going to be very helpful. I've taken out a domination and a mind control gem. So domination we can use one time. That's totally fine. Mind control is on a cooldown. So we can kind of use that whenever it's available. And then when things die, we can hopefully grab a new one. Uh, barrier was countered. So that'll help a lot. Um, we saw how exalt could be easily uh, dominated. So hopefully we can continue with that. Soul Merge is nice because we can give the, the bonus um, stats and an extra action. Probably want to use that on somebody like Six. And then a uh, little Acid Ball action here because uh, why not? Okay, so there's that. He's got the Hazmat Suit here and the Med Kits, Plasma Rifle. Um, over on Six, we've got the Expanded Mag and Bedded Stock, both superior versions. He's using the uh, Talon Rounds here. And I've got a mind shield on him. I just don't want anything bad happening to him, period. Like, I just don't want it. I just don't want anything bad to happen. So that's the plan there. Uh, Trell with the Dark Lance. And we've got a couple attachments here. The Advanced Expanded Mag, the Bipod, and the Experimental Mag. Now, this Dark Lance also shreds uh, an additional point of armor and gets an extra round of ammunition and pierces a point of armor. The Dark Claw uh, ignores armor, which is helpful. So we've got the Sabo rounds here, but we do have blue screens on Pool Mother to kind of backfill any of these guys if necessary. And then uh, Musion, we've got the Black Flame, the Acid, the Rage Armor. He's got uh, Agility in here as well, Shotgun, and hopefully this is enough to make this happen. Getting an Engineer and a Scientist would just be icing on the cake, but surviving is key <laughs> we cannot die we cannot lose anybody okay i've got uh colonel 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 cur four colonels and two majors here like this is a big mission so hopefully it goes well guys wish me luck uh i know today's episode was fast but i guarantee the next one will not be we'll see you then bye for now